it's rare that a hyped up moment comes from space. After all, usually we're just looking into space to see what we have to witness and are excited when we do discover something new. But right now, there honestly is a lot of hype going around via the James Webb Telescope. This device is one that is many years in the making, and now that it's out in space, things are starting to line up to where it can take pictures of things and give us a better depth and scope into space. So with that in mind, allow us to show you how the James Webb Space Telescope has sent back its clearest image yet. Achieving Alignment The James Webb Space Telescope's main mirror is fully aligned and performing even better than it had been designed to do, NASA officials noted on March 16th. The 21.3-foot wide, 6.5-meter mirror composed of 18 hexagonal segments had to travel to space folded. Aligning it into one smooth reflecting surface was one of the main tasks that the Webb control team has had to tackle since the giant telescope's launch on December 25th. The alignment process, which involved fine-tuning the positions and inclinations of the 18 segments with nanometer scale precision, has now been completed, officials said. Although that process is not yet complete, the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope mission, the most complex and most expensive such observatory ever launched, is already producing images that take the scientists' breath away. The telescope's performance so far is everything we dare to hope. Jane Rigby, Webb Operations Project Scientist at the NASA Goodard Space Flight Center in Maryland said in the news conference, the engineering images that we saw today are as sharp and as crisp as the images that Hubble Space Telescope can take, but are at a wavelength of light that is totally invisible to Hubble. So this is making the invisible universe snapping into very, very sharp focus. Getting things into focus is very much something that many astronomers and those who would use this telescope for scientific purposes would appreciate. Because, over the years, we've been at the mercy of the visual tools that things like probes and the Hubble have had, and while they work, they weren't always the clearest. This is the one that just might change that. The first test. When the mirror alignment process started in early January, the ground team pointed the telescope at HD 84406, what the scientists described as a very boring star in our Milky Way galaxy. The star, 100 times fainter than what can be seen with the naked eye, was chosen not for its scientific significance, but purely for its brightness and location. At the beginning of the alignment process, the telescope was delivering 18 individual images of the star, with each of the primary mirror segments acting as a telescope on its own. The image released on March 16th shows a bright shining amber-colored star emanating streams of light across the universe. Even more interesting than the star itself, however, is its background, revealing dozens of specks and dots, each a distant galaxy that was previously out of reach. These distant galaxies make Webb's first image a so-called deep field. Such photographs, focusing on small sections of the sky, aim to capture the most distant objects in the universe. Deep fields are a specialty of the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb's predecessor. Webb, however, is set to beat Hubble in its ability to peer into the depths. There's no way that Webb can look for 2,000 seconds at any point in the sky and not get an incredibly deep field, Rigby said. This is going to be the future from now on. Wherever we look, it's a deep field. Without even really breaking a sweat, we're seeing back in time to galaxies that we're seeing the light as it looked billions of years ago. Randy Kimball, NASA's Webb Project Scientist for Integration, Test and Commissioning, told Space.com in an earlier interview that where Hubble requires weeks to obtain some of its best deep field images, Webb will accomplish the same results within hours. That's much faster and thus more efficient and thus able to make things happen at a pace that can further exploration. However, the two observatories don't image the universe in the same wavelengths. Hubble is an expert at visible and ultraviolet radiation and Webb sits firmly in the realm of the infrared. That difference is key and is going to help things when it comes to the pictures taken. What the James Webb can do better than the Hubble The Webb telescope was designed to be up to 100 times more sensitive than Hubble. And that goal has not just been accomplished, but exceeded, NASA officials said in the briefing. We said last fall that we should know that the telescope is working properly when we have an image of a star that looks like a star. Lee Feinberg, Webb Optical Telescope Element Manager at the Nassau Goodard Space Flight Center, said in the briefing. Now you're seeing that image, and 
I'm happy to say that the optical performance of the telescope is absolutely phenomenal. It is really working extremely well. The performance is as good, if not better, than our most optimistic prediction. No other telescope before has been launched to space with a formidable mirror. To make the mission possible, the engineering teams at NASA and its partner organizations had to develop completely new technologies that had never been flown in space before. As a result, the James Webb Space Telescope project faced many delays and cost overruns. The work, however, has paid off as the telescope has sailed through all of its major commissioning milestones without the smallest hiccup. Of all the sleepless nights I've had and the worries that I've had, they are all behind us now. Thomas Zurbuchen, NASA's Associate Administration for Science, said in the briefing. It's not because there's no path ahead. There's still a mountain to climb. Those important tasks that need to be done. But we are way up that mountain. In early January, the telescope deployed its tennis court-sized sunshield in a similarly smooth process. The control teams will now focus on the telescope's four science instruments. First scientific images are expected to be released in June or July, and obviously more will come after that. The mirror. The mirror alignment was accomplished with the help of the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, one of Webb's four scientific instruments. The remaining three are still waiting to open their eyes. In addition to aligning the mirror, the scientists had to wait for the instruments to cool down to extremely cold temperatures close to absolute zero. Since Webb is an infrared telescope and infrared light is essentially heat, any warmth emitted by the telescope and its instruments would dazzle the detectors and make it impossible for them to see the most distant objects in the universe. With all its gear deployed, aligned and cooled down, Webb will be able to see the first stars that sprung up in the nascent universe only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. It's very interesting to see the team so excited for this because back in January, they were the ones to note that there were some issues to work out. But apparently, they're well on their way to working those out for the better. The Potential of James Webb The James Webb Telescope is well and truly something that is many years in the making. In fact, the reason that it cost $10 billion to make was not just because it took so long to make, but it took a while to ensure it could do everything that the Hubble could do. But do it much better and quicker. As noted before, it's already completed part of that goal. But now, the goal is to unfold the remaining mirrors and align everything just right so that the telescope can finally peer into the depths of space and reveal some very interesting things. And since this new image shows that it has the ability to do a really deep shot of space, there's no telling what it might discover or illuminate, if you will. That's what has so many scientists at NASA and beyond excited, because there's a lot that the James Webb could let us see in space that we couldn't even hope to grasp before. One can only imagine what images we'll see from the telescope, but we can predict that it's likely going to be very worth it when they arrive. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the James Webb Telescope and how it's very close to where astronomers need it to be? Do you feel as though this telescope is really something that could open up space as a whole in terms of viewing? What do you personally want this telescope to try and see in order for us to get a better understanding of space? Let us know below and we'll see you next time on the channel.